service. And we are so excited to have you folks with us. And also, uh, Mr. Doug Maddenford, uh, would you step up here, please, to the side? There we go. Uh, Mr. Doug, Mr. Douglas Maddenford, who is with us and who has, uh, has such a knowledge of all things Penn Dutch. Uh, Doug, I understand you grew up in a home where your parents sp spoke Penn Dutch, is that right? Yes, I'm uh, originally from Centerport in Berks County, Pennsylvania, on the other side of the Susquehanna. Um, and I grew up with all four of my grandparents speaking Pennsylvania Dutch and English. Um, so I grew up hearing the language spoken. We weren't plain, we weren't Amish or Mennonite, we were Lutheran, still are, multiple generations here in America. Uh, and uh, so that's a little bit how I get to know the, the language and the culture just by hearing it as a kid growing up. Was there any motivation to learn Penn Dutch because you figured your parents or grandparents were talking about you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that might have been the best motivation, probably. I just want to make sure they were saying only good things, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> right? sure. What noble? Well, in, in those days, you know, parents didn't want to spoil their children by saying too many good things about them. So maybe that was very true. <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, you have a podcast, I understand. Uh, that where people can listen and hear Penn Dutch spoken? Yeah, I have a, a very active YouTube channel uh, for anybody that has internet, of course, and YouTube is free with, uh, I don't know how many videos are on there, but there's quite a lot uh, that you can learn the language, learn about our culture, our history, music. We have a lot of music on there as well. So definitely please check it out if you're, if you're interested, of course. And, and I also understand that uh, you have an English uh, podcast because I've heard that you were you were interviewing your your pastor that day. I, think. I, I do, yeah. That was a good. Yeah. That was a good. Well, thank good podcast. you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So you also have a day job besides uh, sharing uh, all things Penn Dutch, and uh, you uh, teach German and history at is it Keystone Center School? In Keystone Central School District, just outside of State College, is where I currently am. Mi yep. Mi Mills. Mill, uh, Mill Hall is the name Mill of the Hall. town yes, where the yes. school is actually thank located, you, up you. in the mountains. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Uh, Doug is going to be our guide today, and what you're going to see on the screen is basically four parts. The, the para, the pastor in Pennsylvania Dutch, and then Gemeinde. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. This, and uh, the, the congregation, and those are your parts to say in Penn Dutch. So if you know Penn Dutch, please join in. If you don't know Penn Dutch, fake it. Just, just try to pronounce it as best you can. Okay, that will be wonderful. And then there's the pastor's part, which I'm going to do. And uh, Margot uh, Kasky is here. She's going to lead the Gemeinde part, the people part, the congregation part, and the people part in English. So thank you, Margot, for, for doing this. We appreciate it. So uh, we're going to hear a prelude first. And, and the prelude, Jonas, is... Uh, oh. Here we are. The, the, the Neller sisters are here, the Dolly sisters to, to lead, do our prelude for us. Is that right? The Church in the Wildwood. The Church in the Wildwood. Okay, great. Well, we'll sit down and listen.
Thank you, Ruth and Irma Neller, so much. And, uh, and now we're going to start our service. And as I share, there's going to be four parts, two German, two English, Pare, Pastor, People, Gemeinde, something like that. Something like anyway, oh, I wanted to say one more thing. Uh, Jonas is going to be leading us in the singing as he does each Sunday. Now, you may not know the songs because they're in Pennsylvania Dutch. You'll know them because you've heard them in English. But if you let him into your head, you think you hear much quicker than you speak. And so if you let his voice guide you, you might be able to get away singing these pretty well. I'm just saying. Okay, let's begin. Let us all remember that God understands all languages and all times as we come together and worship in a language that was spoken throughout our Commonwealth in its entire history, dating back as far as 1683 when the first ship of German immigrants came into the port of Philadelphia, aus Krefeld, Germany. Today we join our voices, our hearts, and our minds in the language of our forefathers and foremothers who have fought and worked hard to create the Commonwealth that we are all in today. Kyrie eleison. Herr Erbarmer dich. Christe eleison. Christe Erbarmer dich. Kyrie eleison. Herr Erbarmer dich, giver uns. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy over us. Daha sei mit euch. Und mit deinem Geist. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lass uns beide.
Lass uns beten, let us pray. Da dich dein Wort, ewiger Gott, entsprang dein Schöpfung und uns wurde der Atmen des Lebens gegeben. Da dich dein Wort, ewiger Gott, wird der Tod überwunden. Jesus ist auferstanden aus dem Grab und uns wurde neues Leben mit der Kraft deines Geistes gegeben. Mega mir frei heraus, des gute Nachricht in unserer Wade und dort für Kinder, immer uns deiner kräftvollen Anwesenheit erfreienden, da dich Jesus Christus, unserer uferstandenen Haar. Prayer of, prayer of the day. Through your word, eternal God, thy creation sprang forth and we were given the breath of life. Through your word, eternal God, death is overcome. Jesus has risen from the grave, and we have been given new life with the power of your spirit. May we freely proclaim this good news in our words and deed, always rejoicing in your powerful presence through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. Your offerings can be mailed to Cindy Forbes at 5123 Sinsheim School Road, Spring Grove, PA. 17362. Sunday school offerings can be sent to Neil Rohrbaugh at 800 Mangus Mills Road, Spring Grove, PA, 17362. And church envelopes and offering plates for both Sunday school and church are at the back of the sanctuary. We give thee but thine own, whatever the gift may be. All that we have is thine alone, a trust, O Lord, from thee. of different languages, of different ways of thinking, of different peoples who make this great world of ours. Thank you for the blessings that you give and the blessings so we are able to return in Jesus' name. Amen.
Die erste Schrift kommt aus dem Buch Die Offenbarung, der 21. Kapitel. Noch habe ich in neuer Himmel und in neuer Erd gezähne. Der erste Himmel und die erste Erd waren vergangen. Uns war kein Seme. Und ich, der Johannes, habe die heilige Stadt es nahe Jerusalem gezähne, runterkommen aus dem Himmel. Sie war gericht wie ein Braut, als sich Shea gedu hat für ihr Mann. Noch habe ich ein lauter Stimm vom Himmel gehört, sauer. Guck mal, nah ist die Wohnung von Gott bei den Menschen und a soll bei einer Leber. Sie soll sei Leid sein und Gott selber soll bei einer sein und ihre Gott sei. Gott soll all es arge Wasser aus ihrer Ohren putzen. Es soll nimmer starbes oder heiles oder brilles oder schmatze mehr geben. Für die alte Sache sind vergangen. Da, wo auf dem Thron hockt, hat gezahlt. Guck mal, ich mach alles nahe. Our first reading is from Revelations chapter 21, verses 1 through 5. 
Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will, no, there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Die Wahrheit aus der Heiligen Schrift. Gott sei Lob und Dank. The words of Holy Scripture. To God be thanks praised. Thanks be to God. Thanks. Psalm 137. An die Reverer von Babylon hen mir gehockt und geheilt, wo mir an Zion gedenkt hen. Dat uf die Weide beim hen mir unser Hafer an der Kange. Dat selle as uns gepackt und weggeschleppt hen, hen uns gezahlt. Sing uns ein Lied von Zion. Wie kenne mir im Haar sei Lied singe in ein fremdes Land. Psalm 137. By the rivers of Babylon, we sat down and wept when we remembered Zion. There on the poplars, we hung our harps. For there our captors asked us for song and our tormentors demanded songs of joy. They said, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing the songs of the Lord while in a foreign land? Die zweite Schrift kommt aus dem Buch von Genesis, der zwölfte Kapitel. Der Herr hat gesagt zu Abram, verlass dein Vaterland und die Freundschaft und die Familie deinem Vater und zieh an ein Land, wie ich dich weiß. Ich werde dich ein mächtiges Volk machen und ich will dich zeigen und will dein Name hochheben und du sollst ein Seher sein. Ich will segne die dich segne und verfluche die dich verfluche und in dir selle alle dein Familie von über der Welt gezegnet sei. Abram hat im Haar sein Befehl gefolgt und ist gezogen, hat auch im Lot mitgenommen von Haran. Abram war 75 Jahre alt, wie er sein Heimatland verlassen hat. Second reading, Genesis 12, 1 through 4. The Lord said to Abram, go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all the people of earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. Die Worte aus der Heiligen Schrift. Gott sei Lob und Dank. The words of the Holy Scripture. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Das Evangelium kommt aus Johannes, der 20. Kapitel. Ehre sei dir, Herr. Herr. John chapter 20, verses 19 through 29. Honor, Honor to you, O Lord. Lord. Und oben zu seinem ersten Tag von der Woche, wie der Jünger versammelt war und die Tiere verschlossen war, weil sie Bank hat, Herr, wer der Jude, ist Jesus mit es und ich sie reinkommen und hat nicht gesagt, Friede sei mit euch. Und nachdem, als er das gezahlt hat, hat er ihnen seine Hände und seine Zeit gewisse. Und die Jünger waren froh, als sie der Haar gezähne Hände. Und Jesus hat noch einmal gezahlt, Friede sei mit euch. So wie der Vater mich hier geschickt hat, schicke ich euch hier. Und nachdem, als er das gezahlt hat, hat er auf sie geblossen und hat gezahlt, na nimm der Heilige Geist. Wenn ihr die Menschen von ihrer Sünde freisprechen, war sie ihr Sünde los. Und wenn ihr die Menschen in ihrer Sünde drin lasse, 
behalte sie ihre Sünde. Aber der Thomas, einer von der Zwölf, als der Zwilling hieß, wo er nicht beine, wie Jesus zu ihm gekommen ist. Noch haben ihm die anderen Jünger gesagt, wir haben die Haare gesehen. Aber er hat nicht gesagt, erst wenn ich mein Nagellöcher in seine Hand sehe und mein Finger dort nicht du in meine Hand in seine Seite reinstecke, kann ich es glauben. Und ich wachte noch, wo er die Jünger noch einmal drin und das Mal war der Thomas auch dabei. No kommt Jesus, für all als die Tiere verschlossen waren, mit es ohne sie rei und sagt, Friede sei mit euch. Dann sagt er zum Thomas, gib dein Finger her, guck mein Hand an und lang dein Hand her und steck sie in mein Seid nein. Und na, sei nicht unglaublich, aber glaublich. Der Thomas hat ihm geantwortet, mein Haar und mein Gott. Jesus sagt zu ihm, weil du mich gesehen hast, Thomas, glaubst du. Selig sind die, wo nicht sehen und doch glauben. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together, when the doors, with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now, Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the 12, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my hands where his nails were and put my hands into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here, see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, my Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. The Evangelium sei wat. dear Christ. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord. I'm going to take this out of here. Before I begin, don't look at the slide yet. I'm a high school teacher. All my students do the same thing. When they're not looking at their cell phones, then they start looking at the board. Just out of curiosity, raise your hand if you grew up hearing Pennsylvania Dutch spoken in your homes. That's wonderful. Now, raise your hand if you understand what the heck's going on here today, because you learned the language from your parents or your grandparents. And it's not as many hands. Okay. All right. Um, I have to admit, driving here this morning, growing up where I did in northern Berks County, where there's a lot of Pennsylvania Dutch speakers that are still around, not as many as there were, of course, the language is still alive. And I would welcome anyone that would like to learn more about our culture and our history. Those of us that are the plain pencil, not the plain Pennsylvania Dutch, but us that are called the fancy Dutch. Those of us that went to church, the Lutherans and the reforms, as we call growing up Lutheran, we called all of you guys the Reformira because you were the, you were the reformed church, the UCC church. We loved you. No, no worries. Uh, but there were, it was two teams, I think, for a lot of us Pennsylvania Dutch. But I would welcome all of you to travel to Kutztown. Pennsylvania, and go to the Kutztown Folk Festival, which takes place the first week of July every year. It's a nine-day festival where you can learn about all things Pennsylvania Dutch. And if you would like to go at any other time of the year, I would welcome you to travel to Kutztown again and go to the Great. Pennsylvania German Cultural Heritage Center, which is on the campus of Kutztown University. It is an open-air museum. It's an 18th 19th century stone Pennsylvania Dutch farmhouse and barn. There's a one-room schoolhouse there, a summer kitchen, uh, a blacksmith shop. 
and uh, the director there will give you a personal tour if you call ahead and you can really learn a lot and uh, you would be surprised at how strong our culture and our history runs deep and i noticed someone sitting in the back that i have to give one more shout out if you want to learn more about pennsylvania Dutch stuff and that would be go to berks county again i don't have anything against york county please don't take it that way but there's a lot of good things happening in berks right now in regards to this topic and i would invite you to travel and visit the berks history center which is located just on the edge of the city of reading they have a wonderful collection of pennsylvania dutch artifacts from grandfather clocks out of the 1700s to hope chests to printed documents so there's lots of stuff that you can do out there um and I'm sure there's stuff here in York County. I just don't know <laughs> what it is. You guys all tell me after the service and then I can add it to my list of things to talk about uh, to my people on YouTube and on social media. Before I give the sermon in Pennsylvania Dutch, I was thinking at driving down here, that second reading where God's telling Abram, go to a new land that I will show you essentially. And it had me really thinking about most of us sitting in here are the descendants of people that at some point in the 1700s, maybe 1800s, made that very decision in a far off country to get on a boat and not know where they were going, not know what they were going to encounter when they got here and do it. And we want to talk about faith and belief in what God has in store for us. Think about that decision that your fifth great grandfather or sixth great grandmother made because it was a huge decision to make, to leave everything that you knew, your family, your home to get on a boat that you had no control over. And sometimes you didn't even have the money to make the voyage. And then when you got here, you had to work to pay off your voyage, sometimes in indentured servitude, and then to be put in a place where you knew nobody. And maybe you traveled to rural York County and you were encountered with thousands of acres of trees that you had to start clearing to make a life for your family. We wanna talk about faith. We often think it's just in the Bible, but it has been through our lives for generations. And the sermon today, I'm basing it off of the scripture that we had from the, from the book of John with Doubting Thomas. Now we can put the slide on so people can look at what we're talking about. We all doubt. I know that. And while I'm preaching in Pennsylvania Dutch, if you don't understand, I would invite you to think about these bullet points. And I really thought about this lesson when I was thinking back to 2020, because the disciples were all locked in that room behind a closed door, but yet Christ came in. And like many of us, we were locked behind closed doors for a lot of the year 2020. And Christ can still come through those doors too. Lass uns beten. Lieber Gott, lass die Wahrheit von unser Lefze und die Gedanke in unser Hatze sei ewig in dein Name. Amen. Gute Maria, lieber Leid, es ist ein absolut Blessier und segnet und mit do euch selle Maria zu sein und mit euch zu arbeiten in unser schöne und so wichtige Muttersprache Pennsylvania Deutsch. Johannes hat so geschrieben und verzählt. Und obwohl an seinem ersten Tag von der Woche wie die Jünger versammelt waren und die Tiere verschlossen waren, weil sie Bank hatten, wäre der Jude, ist Jesus mit es und ich sie reinkommen und hat ihnen gesagt, Friede sei mit euch. Die Tiere waren verschlossen, weil sie Bank hatten, wäre die Jude. Vielleicht für uns in 2020 kennt ihr mir sauer, die Tiere waren verschlossen, weil sie Bank hat, wäre die Coronavirus. Ja, selles Jahr sind mir wie die Jünger in der Dauer noch dem Kreuzung von Jesus. Vielleicht fühlst du dich als Vater noch so. Manchmal fühle ich mich auch so. Wir alle waren heim, hin ich verschlossene Tiere. Und viel von uns haben Bank hat. Leid war krank, manche war am Starben. Und der Virus war etwas, was mir nicht wirklich sehen können. Jesus ist zu den Jüngern gekommen. Gerade da ich die verschlossene Tier und hat gesagt, Friede sei mit euch. Vier Katze war da, aber wichtiger war da. Im Frühjahr und auch noch heute haben wir gehen einen Feind gefochtet, die wir nicht sehen können. Für viel Leid war es und ist es nicht ein leichter Feucht. Wir kennen anxious viele, hoffnungslos viele, allein viele. Für die Leid sage ich, Friede sei 
mit euch. Unser Leben hat sich arg verändert. Wir haben nicht in ein Restaurant gegangen, wir haben nicht so einfach in die Movies gegangen, wir haben nicht so viel Zeit mit unserer Freundschaft rumbringen gekannt, viel Schule war verschlossen und die Kinder haben gemisst, die Hemu für ihre Laptops lernen. Heute ist es ein bisschen besser. Wir müssen nicht mehr Masks wehren. Wir können in Restaurants gehen. Wir können einkaufen gehen. Aber doch sind wir hier nicht geschlossene Tiere. Nach haben wir wieder einen Krieg. Das mal in Ukraine. Wir haben Inflation. Die Preise sind hoch. Und für viele Amerikaner ist es hart zu leben. Es gibt alles, was noch Schießerei im Supermarkt, in die Schule, in die Straße von unserer Stadt. Unser Land ist arg versplittert, wegen Politics und Social Ideas. Es ist einfach bang zu sein. Es ist einfach hoffnungslos zu sein. Es ist einfach dein Glaube zu verlieren. Für die Jünger war es auch so. Sie haben gesehen, als die Römer und die Juden Jesus weggenommen haben ihn vor Pontius Pilate gebracht haben und endlich am Freitag auch auf dem Kreuz genault haben. Ihr Leben war auch stark verändert. Sie haben nicht gewusst, was zu tun. Vielleicht fühlst du auch so manchmal. Aber in die dunklen Zeiten, wie die Jünger in die Wochen nach dem Karfreitag oder wie uns in unserer Zeit, Amerika in 2022, Jesus kommt noch. Dadurch die verschlossene Tiere und sorgt zu uns, Friede sei mit euch. Vielleicht bist du auch in dunkler Zeit. Vielleicht bist du krank, allein oder hoffnungslos. Vielleicht kennst du etwas wie Sel. Zu all die Leute, die sowas fühlen, es gibt ein Anwort. Es gibt Hoffnung. Jesus, unser Haar. Nichts kann ihm draus halten. Nicht verschlossene Tiere, nicht die Coronavirus, nicht die Republikaner, nicht die Demokraten, nix. Nicht die Leute, die wollen andere Leute verletzen, nicht die Reiche, nicht die Orme, aber wer alles fährt, dadurch die Tiere kommen. Und wenn du bang hast oder weißt nicht, was zu tun, dreh dich um, dort wer er sei. Und er war auch zu dir zauber. Friede sei mit euch. Amen. Wir sollen auch unser Glaubensbekenntnis, die Apostles Creed. Ich glaube an Gott, der Vater der Allmächtigen, den Schöpfer des Himmels und der Erde. Und an Jesus Christus sei eh geboren so unser Haar. Empfange dadurch der Heiligen Geist, geboren von der Jungfrau Maria, gelitten und ich Pontius Pilatus, gegreizigt, gestarben und begraben, hinabgestiegen in das Reich des Todes, am dritten Tag uferstandene von der Tode, aufgefahren in der Himmel und erhockt zur Rechten Gottes, der Allmächtige Vaters. Von dort wird er kommen, so richtet die Lebende und die Tode. Ich glaube an der Heiligen Geist, die Heiligen christliche Karich, Gemeinschaft der Heiligen, Vergebung der Sünde, Uferstehung der Tode und das ewige Leben. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
We'll, we will now move to the prayers of the people. Um, we'll just say once the Pennsylvania Dutch, the prayers will be in English. Correct. Yeah. Ha, erbarme dich. Christ, Herr uns. The prayer list for today, Sunday, October 2nd, Gail Ambrosius, Kenny Bear, Cindy Breeden, Joanne Harner, Dwayne Henry, Tina Horst, Christy Curelabor, Kathy Neller, Jason and Christina Toman, Dorothy Trump, Darlene Worley, and a praise for healing summer storm. Family and friends of Nadine Bauman, Dean L. Kramer, Scott Dickmeyer, John Dussman, Lydia Eiler, Linda Glass, Jim Galker, Marguerite Warner Heidler, Gregory L. Krebs, Marge Shu, and Betty Tennis. Der Friede der Haar sei alle Zeit mit euch. Und mit deinem Geist. The peace of God be with you always. And also with you. Die Gemeinde darf in einer Begrüße. Friede sei mit dir. The people will say, peace be with you. Lass uns beten, wie der Jesus uns gelernt hat. Unser Vater im Himmel, mag dein Name heilig sein. Dein Reich soll kommen, dein Wille soll geduwar auf der Art, gerade wie im Himmel. Unser tägliches Brot gib uns heilig und vergib uns unsere Schulden, so wie wir anderen ihre Schulden vergeben. Und führt uns nicht in die Versuchung, aber er lässt uns von übel. Deins ist es Reich und die Kraft und die Heiligkeit in Ewigkeit. Amen. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Okay. 
Kind und Römisch still, nei hält sie's da allein. Ich geb mich nach all, was ich bin, o Herr, du will ich still. Ich lebe für Jesus, er stirbt just für mich. Der Herr segne dich und behiede dich. Der Herr lasse sein Angesicht über dir lichte und sei dir gnädig. Der Herr erhebe sein Angesicht auf dich und schenke dir Friede. May the Lord bless thee and keep thee. May the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. May the Lord lift his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen.
Und geht hier im Friede daher. Gott sei ewig Dank. Dank. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. You may be seated for a few announcements that are coming up. First of all, thanks to Doug Maddenford for his excellent work today. We really appreciate it. Plus all the extra notes about culture and, and all that our ancestors suffered through. It's a beautiful story and, and a difficult one at times, certainly. Also, uh, I want to thank those on the tech desk today. I, I see Ray. Ray there, Thacker, and uh, Adam Marsh, and Gerald Shu, who's always at the sound, which is always helpful because he keeps us sounding decent. And uh, Bruce, yes, Austin Marsh was uh, changing the slides for us. And was he? He's, he's in sixth grade, so he was doing really <laughs> great to keep up with oh, those right. slides. Awesome. Thank you. Very yeah. good. Very good. And, and Jonas Sterner, who who doesn't know Penn Dutch, but Pretty, did a pretty good job, don't you think, of figuring out what he had to you say? You are unofficial. Now. You are official now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> and also, uh, this week, uh, Dale C. Miller has a birthday, so we want to celebrate that. And we're not going to sing to you or ask you how old you are. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. And the flowers this week are given to the glory of God and honor. Oh, thank you, of Pastor <laughs> Bruce and Rita for their dedication and hard work. That's very kind of you. And the poinsettia, um, there are poinsettia order forms in the back of the church. Now you're thinking, poinsettias, that's Christmas. There's only 84 days till Christmas, do you know that? And, uh, and those have to be in church a couple weeks early. So we want you to have the chance to order them. They were also on the email uh, newsletter that went out yesterday and we'll keep it in for a couple weeks yet. Uh, also, uh, oh yes. After our service, we're having a luncheon up at the cookhouse. For those of you who are new, just go back up the hill towards the cemetery on the hop. Uh, that way. I'm sorry. I get, I get spun around. You, you know, you, you'll be surprised at how much people get me through the service a lot on Sundays. You, know? you forgot this. Anyway, up the road, and uh, you'll see the cookhouse on the left. It's a white building, and we have all kinds of Pennsylvania Dutch food there, including hogmal that was made right here on premises. And the rest was made by our Pennsylvania Dutch cooks who probably had these recipes for generations. Okay, so they're, they're bona fide. And if you don't know what hallmog is, don't ask, just eat it. Because sometimes if we tell you what's actually what it is, you might turn your nose up, but don't. It's delicious. It's one of our best cultural, it's our cultural gift to the American culinary scene, hogmog. And, I pe think. and people say you have to have stomach to eat it, but it's really <laughs> quite tasty. <laughs> so let, now, in this church, they've learned that pastors tend to stick around and talk a lot. So when by the time the pastor gets up there to say the grace, the food is cold. So we're going to say the grace now, okay? Dear Lord, we thank you for this blessing, for this wonderful service today, for the, for the good work and ministry of Douglas Maddenford and for all the good work he does, not only for the cause of the Pennsylvania Dutch language, but dealing with those students every day in school. God bless this man. Uh, and also, we thank you for this food we're going to eat, for all the cooks who prepared it, and for this wonderful time that we're together. Thank you and bless us in Jesus' name and the food we're about to eat. Amen. And Jonas has a post food for us. And Margo Smith in Denver. May I add something? Margo Kasky, did I say something? Yes, that's okay. It was Smith. I'm thinking of um, for everyone that is going up, there are restrooms up there, but they're not heated near the cookhouse. So um, if you want to use a warm restroom before you go up there in the back well, of the church. Or we just go together there and we keep each other warm. <laughs> That's your idea. That's right. <laughs> For your coats. Yeah. <laughs> okay.